I headed down to the uh, Ed Sullivan Theater where they filmed the Late Show with David Letterman, and even you know two hours before the show was supposed to start, there were already fans um, gathering outside. I noticed a commotion kind of around the corner when a lot of the contestants from Survivor, Poverty, Jerry, Russell, several of them came by, and they were actually going across the street kind of to a staging area. Um, so I followed some of them over there, got to see Rupert, got his autograph, talked to him for just a brief uh, moment. Uh, Sandra was also over there, and uh, she was taking pictures with some fans and uh, also got James's autograph. I uh, went back over, actually met some really cool um, people. I met uh, Jackie and David, who uh, Jackie had won the Fantasy Survivor Contest, and they were supposed to go to the one in L.A. It's They got snowed in, so they were here for the finale in New York. Great couple, really cool people. I also got to meet um, Big Mike, who is one, uh, if not the biggest Survivor fan that there is. He has met almost every contestant. Um, he was actually there with Sugar's Entourage, and he had a pass to everything. And he was just a cool, uh, cool guy, man, just a huge fan of the show. Uh, while we're out there waiting, Mark Burnett, uh, the creator of Survivor, uh, came through, and I was like, dude, that's Mark Burnett. Um, when we went in for the show, uh, we didn't think we'd be able to have cameras, but they never took them from us. And so actually during, not during the recording, but during commercial breaks, uh, we would film. I was actually sitting right behind Todd Herzog, who won Survivor China, got his autograph, cool guy. Uh, after... We watched the finale. We got to go take some pictures near the set. And uh, I was actually sitting with a guy named Ryan Haydick, who's from Reality TV Magazine. And uh, here's Ryan interviewing Colby. He was such a huge help. Really cool guy. Um, just great. Just kind of took me under his wing for the night and just kind of showed me around. But uh, as soon as the show was over, uh, the five finalists were out on the red carpet. Um, the surprising thing right here, this is Russell um, being interviewed, and dude, he got choked up. They were asking him questions about his um, the charity that he's working with, and to see him get really get emotional about that, that was just a side of Russell America had not seen on the show for sure. Um, but just as all the you know the five finalists were coming through, and they were just doing interviews. Uh, with different people here, you can see all the, you know, some of the, the media outlets. Um, and I was just kind of standing there taking pictures, taking video. I was um, kind of minding my own business. I was doing my best not to be noticed, not to be the dude who's like looked out of place. I was trying everything I could to be like, oh, that guy knows what he's doing. He's supposed to be here uh, toward the end of everything happening. Uh, I finally got up the courage, and I, I, you know, planned a question for Sandra because uh, I knew beforehand she was going to win. Uh, I was the only media representative there from North Carolina, so I did get to ask her a question, and um, I just asked her, you know, how did she think she had influenced her inspired military wives? And she was just so cool, man, so nice, uh, just so patient with everybody, and got to, you know, she was kind enough to have a picture made with me. And it was just really cool. And, you know, I was just in awe of everything that was going on around me. Uh, got to get some great pictures after the show. Went over to where the after party was and was going to try to to get into that. Um, even better than that, while we're hanging there, uh, Boston Rob and Jeff Probst came up. And they were just so nice, man. Uh, Jeff just was so gracious and everybody's wanting his time. And I also met some uh, really cool kids from uh, Boston, and here's a quick video of them. We'll just go down. All right, tell me your name and where you're from. I'm Stephen Fine from Boston or Newton, Massachusetts. All right. Daniel Lastman from Newton, Massachusetts. All right. Brian Lastman from Newton, Massachusetts. I'm Donald Adler from Natick, Massachusetts. I'm Yvette Obando from New Jersey. Woo! New Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> all right, tell me, all right, uh, scooch in a little bit. Tell me what you guys did to uh, get here for tonight. 
Uh, we took a bus this morning up from Boston to New York, and then we stayed at his, at his father's apartment. I'm here, yeah, I'm here for the month, and um, we always have a Survivor finale party, so right. we thought this, for our last one, because we were finishing high school this year, we had right. to do it big. So right. we came, and we went to New York, and we tried to see all the Survivor contestants we could. And we, we just did. saw we, we just saw yeah. the two main ones that yeah, we need to see. Yeah. Boston Probst Rob and... behind you. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you uh, That's a true statement. Yeah. So what did you guys... Uh, you, you know, you watched... Watch the finale at, at the apartment, right? Yeah, and then yeah. rush down here as fast as you could? As soon as we found out who we were. We immediately everything. Sweet. 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 So was it was it worth it? For sure. Oh, yeah. What did your parents say when you're like, Mom, Dad, I want to take a bus to, <laughs> to New York City? What did, what did they say? They're like, okay, if that's what you wanted to. Yeah, they go ahead. And they're like, the overall consensus is like, you're a little ridiculous. Yeah. But I was totally cool with it, and I know this. So. It's pretty yeah. much, but I understand. Yeah, sweet. Survivor's worth it. Yes, yes it is. All right, thank you guys. Thank you. And the lady.